Hi, thanks for checking out Astrid. In this video, I'll give you a quick tour of the site and show you how to use Astrid to start organizing your life. We're signed in here, and as you can see, I've created a few tasks to get us started. On the left-hand side, you'll find a short menu. The first item on the menu is My Tasks. This is where you'll find a list of all your tasks. Then after that, you'll see Today, which are the tasks that are due today. Then not in a list are tasks that you haven't organized into individual lists yet, and My Public are for tasks that you have explicitly shared with the public, but don't worry, all your tasks are private by default. Below that, you'll find a section for lists. Astrid comes by default with four lists, home, personal, shopping, and work, but you can, of course, create your own, and we'll show you how to do that here. So let's look at the work list here. In the middle section of the page, you'll see a list of your tasks that belong in this list. If you click on a task, you can open an edit pane to the right side and where you can add more details, and we'll talk about this later. If you close the edit pane, on the right side you'll find some details about this list. Here uh, in the top section we have people on this list, and here I have uh, my work list shared with Emma, who's a coworker. And below that, you'll see a section for activity on this list. On this list. So great, let's uh, start by creating a list. To create a list, you go to the left side, and you, there's a button for Add a List. So let's click this. My fridge has been looking a little empty lately, so I'll start by creating a list for groceries. Now you can add a description or share this, task, uh, share this list with someone, but let's just keep it simple for now. Create the list. Great, so now we have a list created, and you notice that Astrid has automatically picked an icon for you. And you can click on this icon to upload or change uh, the icon or to pick one of our default icons. Now let's add something to this list. Let's say we need to get some milk. Now you click the Add a Task button to add the task. But you can also quickly create a number of items by just typing and pressing Enter. So let's say bananas and oranges, maybe eggs. So great, we have a bunch of items here. And you'll notice that every time you create an item, the edit pane opens up to the right side automatically. And here you can add as much detail as you want. So let's go through and, and check out what's in this edit pane. The first field is who. That's who's going to do this task. It's usually probably you, but if you share the task or the list with someone, then you can select their name here. Or you can just type in their email address. They don't even have to use Astrid. The second field is when. You can use this field to set up a reminder for a certain date or even a time. Then there is this repeating option. If you have recurring tasks like jog every morning, then you can use this area to select um, a repeat interval. And we have a number of different intervals here. Uh, we have daily, weekdays, weekly, monthly, yearly, hourly, or even by minute. Below that, you'll find a section for priority. This is how you can prioritize your tasks and mark some things as more important uh, with three exclamation marks or something that's less important with a zero priority. Below that, you'll see a list section. Now, since we're in the groceries list and we added eggs here, you'll see that groceries is already listed. But you can add tasks to multiple lists if you want. So let's just say this task also belongs on shopping. You'll see the autocomplete and their shopping. Below that, there's description where you can write a long form description if you want. Um, we won't put anything here. And finally, at the very bottom, you can do comments. So let's go to the milk task that we just created and add a comment. My roommate is lactose intolerant, so I should remind myself to buy lactose-free milk. Now, if I share this list with someone else, they will get a comment. Great. So, if I want to remind myself of a specific brand I need to get, I can even attach a picture. So, here I have a picture that I, that's already on my computer that I'll drag just straight into the comments area, and you'll see that the picture automatically uploads. I can click on the picture to see it in full size, or if I'm on the go in the grocery store on my phone, I can pull up this picture from the task as well. Great. So finally, if you want to get reminders on your desktop and you're using a Chrome internet browser, 
You should install the Astrid Chrome app at bit.ly slash Astrid Chrome.